Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have got the best dupe ever for y'all. I've seen these floating around a little bit. I saw Tati review them and I cannot find the video but I know I saw her look at them in a drugstore video and I saw some girls in my Facebook groups talk about how good these were. They got their hands on them and the second they hit Ulta I was there y'all like there. <laughs> So what I have got today is the Essence Metal Shock Eyeshadows. This is what it looks like. Just comes in a tube and just like, you guessed it, the Stila eyeshadows. You just get a Dofa applicator. The product comes out on and you can just use it to apply it. You can do it with a brush. Um, pretty sure you could probably do it with a liner if you wanted to make it a liner very versatile so um what i decided to do today um i just made this look using lots of affordable makeups everything is affordable even my foundation and i decided to make this look for y'all i think this has got a little bit of a grungy valentine's day vibe to it what do y'all think i think grungy valentine's day with some blind and highlight <laughs> but I decided to make this look just to see how these performed I used the darkest one which I thought would be one of the sketchiest ones and I'm pretty impressed already which I'll tell you more about that at the end but I wanted to get in here I have every color they sell at Ulta right now I don't know if there's more or if more are coming but I have every color that was available I'm going to get you some swatches of all seven colors because as of right now, there's everything from silver to basically black, which is what I have on now. And I'm just going to get you a video of all the swatches and how I did this look. It was super simple. And I, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today. Um, if you want to see how I did this look and if you want to see those swatches, just go ahead and keep watching. These are definitely very good. They do not budge. All that stuff. So off the jump, I can tell you they are good quality. But um, the only other thing I have to tell y'all is if you have forgotten, my giveaway is still going on right now with all my videos. I'm linking it in the description, front and center. So you can go click on that and you can enter. You're already doing step one by watching a video. And the only other thing that you can do right here is go ahead and hit that subscribe button then you have one other task to join the crate find squad and you are into the giveaway and you have you can probably get a hundred more entries before the giveaway is over and right now we have over 2,000 entries and I'm so excited so um, if you want to get in on that giveaway click the link in my description giving away some awesome high-end things and a lot of awesome stuff from crate finds which is exciting but that is it for this intro. I'm going to quit babbling and I'm going to take you straight into your swatches. Okay, so here we've got the swatches. First is Total Eclipse, Galaxy Rocks, Supernova, Stars and Stories, Solar Explosion, One Second to Mars, and Moon Dust. These are just so shiny, you guys, and so nice. Love them. Okay, so to keep this video affordable, I have used almost all affordable products on my face because since we're trying out an affordable dupe, I wanted to be sure that everything was in that affordable range. So I used the Wet n Wild Foundation, Butter Bronzer, my blush is kind of high end, but that was my mistake. I don't have a drugstore blush that I can find. And I used a ColourPop highlight, y'all. Kathleen Lots raves about this. Flexitarian is the best. And you know, my brows are with brow whiz, but I don't have anything else to do my brows with because that's just what works for me. <clears throat> but to keep it affordable, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Crate Fine Shadow because like I've told y'all, those are extremely affordable. They're my absolute favorite right now. Just love them. So what I'm gonna use is Red Queen right here and yes it's bright but I promise I have a direction I'm going with this this shadow is kind of shimmery but it's pretty easy to go ahead and blend into the crease even though it has that shimmer in it so I'm just gonna use it and blend it 
all in the crease, a little bit in the outer corner, and on my lower lash line. Okay, so if y'all can't tell, this is super pigmented. Um, I just took a tiny bit down here to smoke it out, nothing too crazy, because I don't want... I feel like when I put too much red shadow down here, it always looks kind of bad on me. So I just put a little bit down there to smoke it out and all in my crease. And I'd already laid down just a regular tan transition to set in my eyeshadow primer. So that is all I'm going to do in my crease. And we are just going to do the other eye off camera. Okay, so that is it. Like I'm just doing this and one color on my lid. And I showed you the swatches earlier. I'm going to use Galaxy Rocks. Looks like this in the tube. And I'm just going to use this to cut a crease with it, hopefully, if it will sit how I need it to and I'm gonna cover my lid with it and see what happens so I'm gonna zoom y'all in just a little bit more okay so I'm gonna try to stay in frame the best I can while I work with this and I'm gonna try to do this with one swap of this product so I'm just going to cut a little bit of a crease which of course for me has to be higher because my eyes are extremely hooded. Not extremely, but pretty bad. And then I'm just gonna bring it across on my lid, just like this, and bring it all the way over into that deepest part of the red. So that is how that's going to look. I'm going to give it just a second to dry while I do the other eye and then we're going to go in and blend it just a little. Okay, so I think this eye is mostly dried. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of Red Queen on the same brush and just try to blend in this harsh edge just a little bit. Okay, so that just blended it in, kind of got that together right here on that outer corner and just added a little more to my crease to make that red pop just a little bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye and then we're going to play with another color real quick. Okay, so now that that's blended a little bit better, we are going to play with Moon Dust. That is our silver and we're just going to put a little bit of that in the inner corner just to make this pop a little bit but we don't want too much or I don't <laughs> okay so I felt like that looked a little harsh so I just blended it down a tiny bit with my um, finger just to kind of <clears throat> take down that thick look because you don't want that on your inner corner or I wouldn't think so. Now I want to play with one on my lower lash line but I'm kind of scared too so we're going to save that for another day. But this is how this is looking on the eyes. It is definitely shiny. I wouldn't say so much glittery but definitely shiny. So let me get off of here and finish this look off real quick and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so I am done with the look. I didn't go for fake lashes today because I wanted to use my Essence Mascara that I'm pretty fond of. It's the um, Fall Slash Effects like the Princess Mascara. It's in a black and green tube. Super pretty. But I did add a little winged liner again with my wing stamp eyeliner from Crate Finds. Always makes a good wing. And I use some Crate Finds lipstick too because why not? And it's the one with the name I can't say. Yeah. Can't 
can't say that one or my mom will get mad. Hi. <laughs> but I definitely love how this is looking. It is very pretty, very comparable. <clears throat> Um, it is not comparable to the Stila Glitter and Glows, and I can show you why, if I can find my Stila Glitter. Let me go grab that. Okay, y'all, so while I'm challenged, this is literally sitting right in front of me. So I'm going to do a quick swatch on the back of my hand of my Stila, and then I'm also going to do a swatch of the essence that is the closest to this shade and I'll show you the difference okay so here is a swatch of the Stila and the essence now I say this is not a dupe because the Stila has way more glitter in it and this is more of a metallic which looking at the name I should have known but this is more a dupe for the Stila, the new metal glow ones that they have that are just the metallics and they don't have the straight glitter in them. And I don't have one of those. I always prefer glitter, straight up. So if they could come out with some glitter shock eyeshadows, that'd be nice. And while I'm all up close and personal, I'm going to zoom y'all out real quick. Okay, so if Essence could come out with some glitter shock, that would be wonderful. But these metal shocks are super nice. They are still really shiny, make cutting a crease way easier because you have you can skip the concealer step. You don't need to do it. Um, <clears throat> and they are pretty, very pretty. But they are not like the glitter and glows. They are like the I think they're the shimmer and glow is the one that's more metallic for Stila. But these are absolutely amazing, and for the price, which I'll put the price and a link to buy their Ulta now in the description. I mean, I got seven of these for less than I would have spent on two of these, if that says anything. <laughs> but the price is amazing. The product is definitely good. I definitely like it, and I see myself reaching for these especially this green. I cannot wait to try it out all the time. These are going to be right front and center on my vanity to use whenever I need them. And they're also good because it tones your look down just a little bit. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye you guys.